All right, guys, now that you understand the importance of the personal information section and actually correcting it, I want to start talking about where to find this information, identifying it, using the worksheet so that we can take action on correcting it. As a general rule, you guys, personal information can be found at the top of the report or near the beginning of the report. There are exceptions, however. Um, if you go through annualcreditreport.com, for instance, Equifax will put the personal information near the bottom or at the end of the report. But as, again, a general rule, you're going to find the personal information near the beginning part or top of the report. So it looks like this. It'll have names and aliases. Sometimes it'll have name or alias identification numbers. It'll have all your current and previous addresses. Sometimes it'll show those address identification numbers. It'll have social security number, year of birth or date of birth, spouse, telephone numbers, and employment. Now again, not all credit reports are gonna show the identification numbers, but we're not so concerned about that. If we remove the address that doesn't belong there or the name that doesn't belong there, or doesn't fit, it's gonna serve the same purpose. I wanted to show you a report that had these so that you understood the significance of it. And what that significance is, is if you look here, I kind of zoomed in, you'll see 062 there. I hope you can see that. Um, and this address, just to note, is pretty far down the list of addresses, which is pretty significant. And why they have an address identification number, again, is because they attach that to an account. Now again, a lot of this information is blacked out for the protection of this individual, but you'll see 062 are the beginning numbers, right? And this happens to be a collection from several years ago. Well, if that's not an accurate address and we correct that, it's likely that it's going to correct this collection account. So that's the importance of doing this. So you guys, get the credit report out right now. Go through the personal information section identify addresses, identify social security numbers, dates of birth, employment, and fill in the worksheet and make sure that you put down all previous addresses because we're gonna talk about how to correct those and get those all knocked off of there and it's gonna help you along your journey to better credit. I'll see you in the next lesson.